Number 13, I'll take the outside number times each one inside. 6 times 3 is 18. And then 6 times positive 2 is positive 12, 12B. And that property is called distributive, distributive property. And you cannot combine these right here. If you do, you'll be incorrect. Let's see, on number 14, what they both these two terms have in common? The number 8. And if I multiply by x, I get 8x. And if I multiply by y, using distributive property, I get 8y. So factoring is distributive property backwards. On number 15, the coefficient, actually it's positive 6. It's the number in front of the variable, positive 6. If there was a negative there, you'd have to say negative 6. On number 16, we have 3, 4, 5, 3, 5, 4. Looks to me like the order changed. If the order changed, that is the commutative property. And this one would be of multiplication. Count 17 to find the perimeter that's going all the way around. Now, it's not going to be a number. It's going to be an expression. I'll start right here where it says a plus 3. So I have a plus 3, this side, plus the, the other side, the next side, plus the next side is 5a plus 6. So this side plus this side plus the other side, 4a plus 2. And then this last side, 2a. Okay, so that is our perimeter. So now what we need to do is combine like terms. Okay, so let's find all the a's. Here's an a. By the way, if there's no number in front of it, that's the invisible 1, 1a. One so I have a 1a, let's see, a five, positive 5a, a positive 4a, and a positive 2a. So I need to combine those together. Let's see, 1 and 5 is 6, and 4 is 10, and 2 more makes 12. So I have 12 A's. Okay, how about the numbers now? I have a plus 3, plus 6, and a plus 2. 3 and 6 is 9, and 2 makes 11. And there's your answer. There's the expression to find this perimeter of this quadrilateral. Can number 18, we have a double negative, so that's a big, big plus. So I have two different uh, signs. I have negative 64 plus 13. So I need to subtract them. So the answer is negative because there's more negative. So I'll take 64 minus 13. 4 minus 3 is 1. 6 minus 1 is 5. And there's the answer, negative 51. 1, 2, Three, four. What about four? Um, two fingers together is four. All right. Now, if you subtract one finger, there's three. Oh, yeah. And if you subtract another finger, there's two. Uh huh. Another finger, one. Another finger, zero. Zero. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good counter. Well, thanks for that higher math. Enlightenment. Okay, number 19, you can go left or right if you like. I like to put my negatives together first. I have negative 8 and negative 4, that's negative 12, and then I have 31. So 31 minus 12. 31 minus 12 is simply 19. Positive 19. So there's more positive, it's positive 19. 